In this example, we want to solve the following system using row operations and backwards substitution. Okay. So first, uh, let's put this into uh, matrix form. Okay. All right, so we're going to have for the first row, okay, just looking at the coefficients, we're going to have 1, minus 3, and 0, because there's no x3 in the first equation here. And then we have 5 here. Okay. Second row, we're going to have minus 1, 1, 5, and 2. Okay. Third row, uh, we don't have x1, so we're going to put a 0 here as a placeholder. And here we have 1, 1, and then 0. All right, so that's our, uh, this is our system represented as a augmented uh, matrix, okay? All right, so we can go ahead and apply the row operations to solve for, uh, to solve for their system. Okay, so notice that we have, um, we're going to start, so remember, when we're, put, we're using row operations, we want to put this into, uh, first into upper triangular form. Okay, so we want to we want to make this position right. We need to get to this zero. We need to make this zero, and this one zero. Okay, so we do that by using the row operations. Okay, so the first thing is to take uh, since we have one here in the first row and first in the first row and first column, then we can just take row one and add it to row two and store that result in row two, and that will give us zero in the second row and first column. Okay, so we're going to take row one, add it to row two, and store that result in row two. Okay. So that's going to give us, all right, so we have one minus three, zero, five, so we don't change the first row. And so when we add, the, we're going to add row one to row two and store and overwrite row two. Okay, so we're going to get zero here. Okay, so we have one minus one is zero. Uh, negative three plus one, that's going to give us negative two. Okay, zero plus five will just give us five. And then we have five plus two, and that will give us seven. Okay, and then the third row, you can go ahead and copy that down here. All right, so next step is uh, we already have a zero here, okay, and row three, column one. Okay, so the next step is to get a zero in row three, column two, okay. So ideally, it's, remember, it's good to have, uh, it's good to work with small, the smaller positive values, okay, for your pivots, okay. So the next row operation that I'm going to use here is I'm going to switch row two with row three. Okay. Okay, so switch. Row two. Or row three. Okay, so we have one minus three, zero, five, and then we're going to have zero, one, one, zero, and then zero, negative two, five, and seven. So again, that's switching row two and row three. So that's a, that's one of the row operations. Okay. And the reason for this is because ideally it's, it's easier to work with um, pivots that are uh, that are that are smaller integer smaller positive values. Okay, so we have right. So from attaining, so from using this row operation, we have a one here now. Okay. So from here, we can easily get uh, the next. Right, we can make row two. I'm sorry, row three and column two zero, just by taking and multiplying row two. Okay, so taking two times row two and adding it to row three. Okay, so we're gonna have two times 
row two, add it to row three, and then store that result in row three. Okay, so we have one, negative three, zero, five. Okay, this is gonna be zero, one, one, zero. And add, so we're gonna take two times row two and add it to row three and store the results in row three. Okay, so we're gonna get zero and zero here. And two times one plus five, well, that will give us seven. Okay, and then we have two times zero plus seven, which is seven. And one more step we can do is we can go ahead and divide row three by one, divide row three by seven. Okay. So we can take one seventh of row three and store that in row three. Okay. It's not necessary to do that, but it demonstrates one of the row operations. Okay. So have zero, one, one, zero, zero, one. Oh, sorry. It's going to be zero and one and one. Okay. So from here, we could actually continue with the row operations and putting this in reduced row echelon form. Uh, but here, I want to go ahead and just uh, solve this by using uh, backward substitution. So at this point, right from here, uh, we used forward substitution. Okay. So we, all right, by using the row operations. Okay. So then from here, we can use, uh, we can go ahead and apply the backward substitution. Okay, so I'm going to number these. This is going to call this equation three, equation two, and equation one. Okay. So from equation three, okay, so from three we have, okay, basically we have one times z equals to one. Okay, and let's see, we're using x3, so, okay, so I should use those variables. So we have one times x3 equals to one. Okay, so keeping in mind, this was for x1, this is for x2, this is for x3, okay. So x3 equals to one from here. Okay, that's, so that's, one of our solutions, okay. From two, okay. So from equation two, we have x2 plus x3 equals to zero, okay. So since x3 is equal to one, that means we have x2 plus one equals to zero. Okay, so that's going to give us x2 equals to negative 1. Okay, from the third equation, we have x1 minus 3x2 plus 0x3, so we don't need to write that part, equals to 5. So again, since x3 is 1, okay, we're going to get x1 minus 3 times, uh, let's see, x2, sorry, x2 was negative 1, okay. So we have 3, I'm uh, sorry, x1 minus 3 times negative 1 equals to 5. So that's going to give us x1 plus 3 equals to 5. And so that's going to give us x1 equals to 2. So therefore, right, our solution, okay, is in the form of x1 comma x2 comma x3, so that's 2, negative 1, and 1, okay. So that is our solution, okay, and you see here in this figure, uh, there's the 
uh, each of these equations that you see right in the beginning those are right those are planes and you can see that the intersection of all three of these planes occur here okay they occur at this point okay so I can just yeah so it's right at here okay and that coordinate is 2 minus 1 and 1 okay all right so this system is consistent and it also has a unique solution okay